Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. You may know her as someone responsible for many firsts in the U.S. House of Representatives, the first representative to believe that Jewish lasers started the California wildfires, the first representative to chase uh, a victim of the Parkland mass shooting, Parkland High School, down the street, screaming at him um, and blaming him of being a Soros actor. And now also she gets to become the first member of the House to actually uh, publicly testify about the January 6th seditious assault by her buddies uh, on the capital of the United States, uh, the attack that led to injuries and even a few police deaths, um, stabbings and spearings of officers, broken windows and feces smeared on walls. I still can't believe I have to say that sentence. Um, today, a judge is allowing a lawsuit to go forward by members of her district in Georgia um, because they are trying to get her kicked off the ballot. Um, she will publicly testify about uh, what she did that day. She claims she did nothing. I don't know, just a walk in the park, smelling the flowers, you know, claiming the Jews were planning out uh, all economic activity over the next five years in some S Swedish or Swiss bunker somewhere. But they're seeking to disqualify her based on the 14th Amendment. Um, what this says in the end is, and this was something that came after the Civil War, is that if you were not loyal to the United States of America, you would be disqualified from running from office. It seems like if you're an, uh, a foreign agent or a domestic terrorist, that maybe not uh, serving in our Congress would be a good thing. There's future lawsuits also coming against Madison Cawthorn in North Carolina, uh, Andy Biggs and Paul Gozar in Arizona. Uh, so this actually could set an important precedent. precedent. Um, what really is interesting about this one here, not besides the fact that she, of course, screamed and yelled on Tucker Carlson last night or whatever, is we actually know that she had some level of involvement. We just don't know if it rises to the level of criminality. We know there was a war room, um, as they called it, and aptly, of Trump and his lawyer Eastman, who made up those fake memos, and Steve Bannon, the, the, um, the guy who looks like... Uh, the, you know, he, he came out of acting in Down and Out in Beverly Hills. He was a, the homeless man. Um, but um, a whole lot of Trump sycophants, acolytes were there who weren't communicating with him by phone that day. And we now have a number of, uh, of former activists who feel betrayed by those who encouraged them to commit violent actions or just to protest, who have come forward and said they saw numerous members of Congress who they met with and planned with at, you know, at this headquarters at the Willard Hotel in, in Washington, D.C. You know, this includes Bo, Lauren Boebert and Madison Cawthorn, but also includes Marjorie Taylor Greene. She was there, um, at least according to a number of these folks who've come forward and are talking with uh, prosecutors. So this will be a really interesting decision by the judge because um, this would really be the first time since just about after the Civil War that someone would be expelled and not allowed to run for Congress based on the fact that, yeah, they're a traitor. Um, the precedent was set actually right after the Civil War. It's very interesting, and I'm gonna make sure I get this right, folks. Um, but a number of members uh, of Southern, the Southern delegation in the Senate, um, at the time they were Democrats, because that was the racist party back then, Republicans now, um, that they would not accept that the United States, they were still part of the United States. They're still going to stay in the Senate and do their duties in Washington to protect Texas and, you know, Alabama and, and their states, but they would not accept the United States as an entity. They would not accept Abraham Lincoln um, as president of the United States. The response to this, of course, was the Senate expelled them. Ten of them were kicked out uh, for this very reason. They were disqualified from serving because uh, they were essentially enemies of the state. So, um, Miss Jewish Laser herself uh, is on the line today. Um, she's kind of pissed. It'll be live. You should check it out. I'm really pleased this judge chose to, to, to give the people of the district this hearing because, again, we ignore way too many of our laws to let these guys skate these days. We have a rule of law. We're still waiting for Trump to be prosecuted. We're still waiting for his family to be prosecuted. We're still waiting for others that day, Josh Hawley, and, and I mean, I talked about the homeless Steve Bannon before, but this goes so far beyond that to members of Congress and others that met with Trump. And Marjorie Taylor Greene was one of the ones who supported January 6th, the events that day, the, the, the speaking and the calling out, and has said the election was fraud and has done everything she can to undermine the election. And she met with them, and we should know what she said. And if she committed acts against the United States, if she is indeed a traitor, a seditionist, 
She should be kicked out of Congress. We need her to be if we're going to preserve this democracy and if we're going to keep the rule of law. So watch today. And again, uh, remind yourself, Marjorie Taylor Greene, just like Madison Cawthorn and Lauren Boebert and others uh, who apparently uh, did the same thing, may have committed sedition against the United States, that we're even asking this question, that we have to have this trial. Because again, this is not a disqualifier for Republicans being seditionists these days. It's, it's part of who they are. That is your modern Republican Party, folks. We'll